it looks like Jimmy Butler is on his way out of Philadelphia and on his way down to South Beach as he gets traded to the Miami Heat. What is going on, y'all? Five Sports Talk back at it with another video talking, of course, some NBA and here to talk about some breaking news, which is Jimmy Butler getting signed and traded from the Philadelphia 76ers to the Miami Heat. So with that being said, I'm going to talk about this move before I do so, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe by hitting the button down below and turning on my post notifications because a lot of free agency news coming out and you don't want to miss out. I post daily videos. Follow me on my social media, Twitter, Instagram. Let's not wait any longer. Let's get right into it. So let's talk about this move. As I mentioned, Jimmy Butler is now going down to South Beach with the Miami Heat. The Sixers signed and traded him. Now, usually in a sign and trade, you would do it if you want to get the full max that you would have gotten with your current team. But in this instance, I've got a couple, actually I've got a lot of question marks, okay? So let's let's just talk about it because to me, here's my first question mark. Jimmy Butler gets signed and traded here and he gets signed and traded for Josh Richardson, okay? And so Josh Richardson is going to Philly, Jimmy Butler goes to Miami, okay? So let's take a look at Jimmy Butler's contract with the Heat. He signs the full max, four years, 142 million. Now, uh, usually in a sign and trade, I would have assumed that Jimmy Butler would have gotten the full max because that's usually why you do a sign and trade is because you want to get the full max, not lose out on any money, but then still go to your destination where you want to go. But in this instance, Jimmy Butler got the four years 142 that he would have gotten had he signed with, you know, uh, a team that had cap space. Miami didn't have cap space. That's why this had to be a sign and trade with the Sixers. So I'm guessing that's part of the reason why and Miami maybe did not feel comfortable giving Jimmy Butler the five-year $190 million that he could have gotten with the Sixers and I don't blame them for that but just an observation there okay so that's number one number two let's talk about this trade from the Sixers side of things what a fantastic return for the Sixers as they would have lost Jimmy Butler for nothing had he signed with the team that had cap space but because he wanted to go to the Heat which I'll get to in a second here they get a guy like Josh Richardson back. Josh Richardson is a fantastic young player in this league. He's one of the best 3 and D guys that you have in the NBA. And he's going to fit right in with the Sixers because, like I said, he's going to be able to space the floor, hit the three, but also defend as well. So this is a fantastic great. This is not a throw-in piece uh, for, for the Sixers. You don't just throw in Josh Richardson into a trade. He's, he's one of the better young players in in this league so fantastic return for the Sixers who also and I'm going to make another video about this use that 30 million that they saved once once they traded Jimmy and got Josh Richardson to sign Al Horford okay and now they've got a lineup of Ben Simmons Josh Richardson uh, Tobias Harris Al Horford and Joel Embiid my god that is the biggest lineup in the NBA by far so to me fantastic move by the Sixers since they got Josh Richardson back. But I got a couple questions about the Heat here and with Jimmy. And let's take a look here right now, okay? So again, just to recap, the Sixers get Josh Richardson and Jimmy Butler gets that max that he wants in Miami, four years, 142. Um, I love this deal for the Sixers. I mentioned that. But this doesn't move the needle for me if I'm Miami. Now, a couple of things. Maybe Jimmy Butler just wanted to go to Miami because it is Miami to South Beach and that's where he wanted to be. But from a basketball perspective, just like strictly talking basketball, Miami doesn't really move too much with this move. I mean, you've still got guys like Goran Dragic, who's, you know, okay. He's a, maybe a borderline all-star point guard. You've got Justice Winslow, a nice young player. James Johnson, Kelly Olynyk. These guys are okay, nothing special. Bam out of bio. You still have Hassan Whiteside. So to me, adding Jimmy Butler, replacing him with Josh Richardson, maybe makes Miami a little better, but doesn't make them a lot better. And to me, they were a borderline playoff team before this, and they're still a borderline playoff team after this. Now, as of right now, that's the only move they've made. Maybe they'll make other moves. But to me, I'm sorry. I don't like this move too much from Miami's perspective that much. I mean, I don't know why Jimmy wanted to go to Miami. Maybe it was just because it is Miami. It is South Beach. And who knows? You know, a lot of people are talking about maybe D-Way comes back. I don't think that's happening at all. But you never know. So to me, love this deal for the Sixers. Fantastic deal for the Sixers. 
I got some questions on the Miami side of things. It doesn't really move the needle for me, so I'm not a big fan of that. So let me know what you guys think about this move for Jimmy Butler, for the Sixers, for the Heat. Uh, leave a comment down below if you agree with me or disagree with me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please make sure to subscribe as always. Thanks for watching.